Hey, what's good YouTube? Nate with Master Collector back with another Mail Week video. Um, I got a huge stack of cards this last week. Um, I kind of went nuts on Devin Funch's rookie cards, actually. Um, and I'll show you those. Most of them are graded or super low serial numbered stuff. But got a little bit of everything. Baseball, basketball, football, um, stickers cards things like that so um if you're new to the channel you know please think about subscribing i do a lot of mail videos and psa submission stuff so if you're into that or action figures or eighth scale builds of the back to the future delorean uh, i'm doing that as well so got a lot of stuff cooking check out my playlist on my channel and you'll see everything that i'm that i'm into and it's just going to keep growing into other things um have a lot of interest in a lot of things and uh, I like to try stuff out so I always like to improve my skills or whatever it is so <clears throat> on this one here um, start out with some football cards uh, Peyton Manning um, I've gotten some of these already before but I, I picked up four more of these um, Bowman's best honor roll cards refractors and um, well I think all these came from Com C. yep all these came from Comsi, 1999. Um, I just really like this. Uh, it's a second year card too, so you know, rookie cards probably not in my budget right now. So usually, when a rookie card isn't available or in my budget, I will look at the second year cards and uh, just totally hoard them if I can. So that's what those are. <clears throat> And I got a couple of these. Um, so it's, a, it's another Bowman's Best card. It's from 2000, but it's showing the 1998 draft class and uh, Peyton Manning and Randy Moss on this card. And it's it's an acetate card, so it's not cardboard. It's kind of like that plastic material. Um, but they look pretty good. You know, I mean, they definitely have the issues on the edges, which I think most acetate cards do have. But, um, you know, it was worth, I think it's worth the risk just because you got, you know, one of the best quarterbacks of all time and one of the best receivers of all time on the same card as a refractor insert. So I'd like the look of it. And we'll just get into the Devin Funches stack here quick. So um, this one here is just his, uh, it's a 2018. So it's like his fourth year card or something. Um, it was cheap, but I like the die cut look to it and uh, really, really good condition. It's out of 199. It's number one actually out of 199. So that was cool. Uh, this one here is just a Topps Chrome orange refractor. Um, I got it pretty cheap. It's not numbered, but it has scratches on the face. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, this one here is a like a checkerboard premium refractor type of thing rookie card tops chrome and it's not numbered uh, here are some prisms so we got a blue silver not numbered uh, this is just his regular silver or prism prism or whatever you want to call them not numbered here's a red and these look really good too. I got got some really good condition cards here. Um, and then this one here is a mini. Um, I usually don't collect minis, and I think I just missed the the name and the description. But you know, it was cheap, so I'm not gonna freak out about it too much. So it's an auto sticker, sticker auto. Um, it's number to 35, so that's pretty cool. Um, here is a red Topps Chrome. This is on card auto. And this one here is numbered to 75. Or is this a pink? I think it's a pink. Because the reds are numbered to 5, I think. So there's a pink one. Uh, here's another, some couple more silvers um, or prisms. This is just the base. So it's a uh, sticker auto. Not numbered. Uh, this one here is a silver 
auto, sticker auto, and is numbered to 150. Uh, here is a red sticker auto prism. Uh, this one's to 125. Here's a red mojo sticker auto uh, to 75. And then Lambo Bam cards I bought off of eBay. Uh, this sticker auto, this is the gold vinyl. Um, this is number to five. So this is four out of five. And then I got these two from him as well. Kind of like a package deal. Um, these look amazing. And these are numbered to 10. So I got number eight and nine of those. Super cool looking cards. And then I have a stack of uh, graded cards. So here's the Topped Chrome uh, SEPA refractor. So the PSA 9, and it is numbered to 99. Um, here's the other PSA. I got a 10-10 here, so it's a 10 card grade gem mint and a 10 auto. Um, this is the blue refractor, and it's numbered out of 50. Next one is another blue refractor um, out of 50 numbered. This was a 9.5 gem mint with a 10 auto on it. BGS slab. Um, it was, uh, I think, uh, pretty damn close to getting the 10 there, but this one has the 10. Um, it was a 0.5 away from uh, black label. But 10, 10 pristine. BGS on card, numbered out of 50. This is uh, actually number one out of 50 as well. So kind of hit the jackpot with this one. I like this one. Um, here's a, uh, we have a couple, couple golds, um, both 9.5 with 10 grades for the autographs on card autos. And these are numbered out of 50. So we have 14 and 41. Um, we got a 9.5 10 auto on card. Tops Chrome Pulsar Refractor. This is numbered out of 15. Uh, here's a gold refractor, 9.5 out of 10, 9.5 and a 10, I should say. Uh, this is number two out of 10. Yeah, these are SEPA, SEPA golds on these other ones. This one's just a regular gold. And these, this one here is the 10, so... Uh, here's the red one. This is out of five. 9.5 of the 10 autos. Grade uh, number three out of five. Uh, here is a gem mint 9.5 with a 10 on cart auto. Uh, Panini Contenders Cracked Ice. This is out of 23. It's on card. And here's the last Devin Funches in this stack of cards for this past week. Uh, this is the Pristine 10 with a 10 autograph, uh, numbered out of 25. It's a Panini Contenders Championship Ticket Hollow. So, really nice looking cards. Um, I think Devin Funches is going to have a phenomenal year. Um, and the reason why is that one, he was a good receiver when he was healthy with Cam Newton as his quarterback. And Cam Newton ran the ball like for a thousand yards that year or 800 or whatever it is. So if you can imagine Aaron Rodgers, who's a pocket passer, throwing to this guy who is six foot four, 225 pounds, 
and um, I've been following him on Instagram and the guy is a beast so um, I cannot wait to see what happens this year with with Funches and Devontae Adams on the same team it's going to be ridiculous I think the Packers offense so that's why I'm buying Devin Funches I have a um, a gut feeling that he's just going to have a breakout year um, the Packers offense is going to be unstoppable after they then they re-signed Aaron Jones again he wanted to stay um, they're stacked um, it's just gonna be a lot of fun so these are super reasonably ch uh, ch priced right now I mean I think I got all of these um, you know each one was like 70 bucks or less so and I mean talking about gem mint tens with 10 uncard autos you can't you just can't beat that value I don't think so that's what I got for that and then we got some Jordan cards and stickers so these are um, these are the 1998 upper deck stickers so I bought a bunch of these uh, mainly for the shoe stickers. So these are all just the regular Jordan stickers that are in here. There's like 36 total in the set. Um, and most of them in the set are actually shoe stickers. And it starts out with... So here we go. Jordan 1s. 2s threes and I got another three uh, fours another four fives another five six sevens another seven eight nine ten the elevens the twelves blue game 13s, a couple of those, uh, the 14s, and then another 14. So I think uh, these got potential to be worth something someday. Um, you know, Jordan shoes are just so damn collectible as it is. Why not the stickers? That's just my thought. Um, and then I got a couple of these members' choice Jordan cards. Um, I actually picked these up off of Amazon. They look pretty good. You know, they're not perfect, but I didn't play all that much for them. So, and they're cards that I just didn't have either in my collection. So, got a couple of spots here in the back on that one. This one's looks okay, but again, it's more of a PC thing just to have them. And then I got this uh, Superstar Summit Jordan, um, which is just awesome condition. And it's just a sick picture too. I know it's a Wizards one, but you know what? It's about the guy wearing the jersey, not the jersey on him. So we got that. Um, I bought a lot of 12 Rodman rookie cards, and I just bought a single rookie card too recently. So the first 12 are from the, the one seller. And I knew that some of these were not going to be perfect. When I was looking at the pictures, I knew they were going to be off. So there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them that are, you know, pretty good condition overall. They're just really off centered. And then these are the ones I thought would make like eights or nines. So um, definitely off centered, but um, they're looking really good. And um, I paid uh, like 500 bucks for this lot. And the whole goal was just to get one PSA 9 out of this thing. And the rest, you know, if they're 8s, that's fine. And I think this one, this one here is going to get a pretty close to a 9 grade, possibly. So, did pretty good there, I think, overall. And then I bought this one here for 50 bucks. Um, it's not a 10. It's off-centered, but I think it might get a nine. And nines are going for quite a bit now too. 
Um, here's some random cards here. So top crop again, Dave Robinson and Patrick Ewing. Um, here's some more. This whole thing is Superstar Summits. So we got Vince Carter, uh, Allen Iverson. Got a couple Kobe Bryants. And man, these, these card savers are so yellowed out. But I got a tip for you guys. The worse the card saver looks, or the the oldest, the older it looks, beat up, the better the card condition because that means it's been in there for a long time potentially. So I pulled these out and looked at them, man. They're like in perfect condition. So I was really happy with that. And then I bought a slew of uh, Ray Allen's. They were like a dollar a piece. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them total. Again, this old card saver two, one that came in, it's like perfect condition. Um, these I got for a dollar, not so much. They came from Burbank Sports Cards in uh, Cali. A lot of little corner issues and shit like that on there, but I didn't expect much for a dollar each. Um, let's kick into this pack here, which is a little assortment of stuff. So King Griffey Jr. I've been looking at a lot of his like, um, inserts from the, from 89, 90, 91. So this one here I saw, so Fleer 1990 award winners. Uh, it's really good condition. So pick that one up. Um, got this one here, a Team Leaders Fleer from 1992, and it's actually in really nice condition. It's a little off-center, but it's not too bad. Again, it's, it's mostly PC stuff. Ken Griffey is one of my favorite baseball players of all time. Um, I got a couple more of these Soaring Stars, and believe it or not, these came in in really, really nice condition, so I was really happy to see that. These are a bitch to gray because there's, you know, green all the way to the edges and on the back. So a lot of room for failure, for grading. Uh, this one here is, I think, really, really nice. Uh, I picked up another one of uh, Amadi. Got called up from the Bucks from the G League. Um, got Shaq, top crop with Akeem and this one came with it it's a Shaq Stadium Club it's in horrible condition but I think I got both of them for like seven dollars and then we got some more Carl Malone stacks so I'm still kind of hitting him up uh, another Bowman's Best Honor Roll Refractor with Patrick Ewing on the back uh, this one here is a Bowman's Best Carl Malone Refractor Here is a uh, Holding Court Carl Malone card. Looks like it's got like a print defect on it, but pretty nice. Uh, another Power Core card to add to the other ones I got. Tops Chrome, Refractor. I got one, two, three, four, five. Um, of the provisions, I bought a like a page from somebody's kind of selling all the pages out of his binder, and he had like eight or nine of these in his binder. So I, I bought the whole page, and these were the best ones. The other ones were really off centered or, or bad. And then uh, a top crop Carl with uh, Vin Baker on the back. And then the last thing I got for this mail week is more Christian Wood cards and stuff. So Christian Wood's finally playing tonight. Tonight's St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. Um, these are like his, his first stickers. So um, it's got the rocket emblem on it. Got seven of them. They were a dollar each. Um, we got some uh, certified two reds. They're not numbered, and then just a regular hollow one. Um, and then we get into the hoops premium. So we got one, two, three, four more s silvers. 
um, one of the uh, flash, one of the scopes, and let's see what else we got here. I got a red uh, teal, which aren't, aren't easy to come by at a decent price. Uh, blue cracked ice, uh, blue mojo. This one here is number one of 99. That was cool. Pick that up. And I got two silver pulsars. And then we have just regular, the new 2021 hoops. Um, there's 10 of them in these two cases. For those, um, one, two, three blues parallels. Uh, three of the teal blast. And then the last one I got is, uh, this one's numbered out of 99. This is the green hollow parallel. So that's what we got for this one. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and everything that I kind of put out. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please, please leave a comment. That'd be great. Get back to you. Uh, definitely like to improve the community and get more uh, interaction and more engagement. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I would really appreciate that. Like the video, thumbs up, or give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And then also hit that bell for notifications on next new videos when I come out with them. And um, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Later.